everybody. I'm Farmer Tina from Grow a Green Morristown, and I'm here today with my friend Franny. Hola! And today we're going to talk all about some colorful vegetables and fruits and why it's important for us to eat these colorful fruits and vegetables. Hopefully you get a chance to enjoy this video while enjoying your free kits for kids from King's and Grow a Green Morristown. So today we're going to read the story Edible Colors. And while we read the story, we're gonna look at examples of different fruits and vegetables that come in different colors and talk about what parts of our body are helped by them. So edible colors. Carrots are orange, but they are also purple. Las zanahorias son anaranjadas, pero también son moradas. Look what else can be purple. Mira todo lo que puede ser morado. Look at all those different purple vegetables. And purple vegetables, when we eat purple vegetables, they're going to help our brain and our memory. And some of the purple vegetables that we have were eggplant. Mira todos los, <laughs> todos los vegetales morados que podemos comer. Uno de los que tenemos en persona son la berenjena y es una berenjena muy grande. La otra es berenjena pequeña. La berenjena es buena para el cerebro y la memoria. That's a really big eggplant. Grande, grande. <laughs> It's a grande eggplant. But we have purple kale and purple cabbage, purple peppers, and lots of other purple veggies too. Muchos vegetales morados. Mm. Should we put our purple veggies down? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I'll help you out there. <laughs> Plums can be purple, but they can also be red. Las ciruelas pueden ser moradas, pero también pueden ser rojas. Look, what else can be red? Mira todo lo que puede ser rojo. So many red fruits and vegetables. I see red watermelon, red bananas, red carrots. Wow, mira la sandía roja hasta los bananos rojos y zanahorias rojas. When I eat red foods, I know I'm helping my heart as well as many other parts of my body. Cuando comemos comidas rojas, ayudamos a nuestro corazón y muchas otras partes de nuestro cuerpo. Some of the red foods we brought from the farm include Red radishes, rábanos rojos, y tomates rojos. Mm, beautiful tomatoes. Excellent. Oh, there they are. Tomatoes are red, and I know all of our tomatoes are coming in season right now here at our farm. But they can also be green. Los tomates pueden ser rojos, los que ya vemos creciendo aquí en la granja, pero también pueden ser verdes. So look what else can be green. I see all sorts of different green things. Green pears, green apples, green asparagus, green peppers. Muchas cosas pueden ser verdes. Tenemos dos clases, el pepino verde y tenemos la, el calabacín verde. So I see my green zucchini and my green cucumber. Yum. Plus lots and lots of lettuce that is here at the farm. When I eat green foods, they're actually helping my teeth, they're helping my bones, and they're helping my belly with my digestion. Mm. Cuando mm -hmm. comemos cosas verdes como lechuga y cualquier verde que encuentres en tu refri, ayudan a los dientes y a la digestión. Es muy importante. Very important, very important. Oh, there they are. Cucumbers are green, but they can also be yellow. Los pepinos pueden ser verdes, pero también pueden ser amarillos. Look, what else can be yellow? Mira todo lo que puede ser amarillo. Lots of, lots of things. We know bananas are yellow, right? We have our, even watermelon can be yellow. All different types of squash and peppers. Ya conocemos los bananos amarillos, pero también hay sandía amarilla. Y la están vendiendo en Kings en este momento, que yo la vi ayer en el supermercado. Mm -hmm. Y también hay muchos otros vegetales amarillos. 
So when I eat yellow foods, they're also going to help my heart as well as my skin. Comer comidas amarillas ayudan el corazón y también la piel. Corn can be yellow, but it also can be blue. We did kind of blue purple before. El maíz o elote o choclo, como le llamen, es amarillo, pero también puede ser azul. What else can be blue? Well, our blueberries, our squash, and blue, just like purple, is going to be really good for our brains and lots of antioxidants. Las comidas eh, azules, también como las moradas, tienen muchos antioxidantes y son muy buenas. Aquí en el libro vemos calabazas y arándanos azules que son muy saludables. And there's our state fruit right there, the New Jersey blueberry. Esa es la fruta del estado de New Jersey, el arándano azul. Some fruits and vegetables can be black. Hay vegetales negros también. Like eggplant, right? Where was our mm -hmm. egg? Oh, I think maybe. Oh, there he is. Right? Just like that Sí, one. parece negro. And some can be white. So like carrots and pumpkins, eggplant, okay? Hay comidas Cauliflower blancas. Cauliflower can be white. El coliflor, las zanahorias. Mm -hmm. But it says it's a rainbow of edible colors. But you know what? There was one color that was missing from this book. Hmm. Hmm. Which color was missing? We didn't actually talk about it. And it's the color of these carrots. Anaranjado. Mm -hmm. Or naranja, you can call it. Yeah, orange. When we look at orange, orange foods are going to be good for our eyes. Mm -hmm. And they're going to be good for our skin. And they're going to be good for our heart. So orange is going to be good for us to eat as well. And I know there's some orange in the kit if you did get mm. your kit from King's. So hopefully you guys get a chance to try some of those colorful foods in your bean dip. But it's really important that every day we eat a rainbow of fruits and vegetables. We want to be able to eat as many different colors as possible. There's all sorts of fun ways you can do this. You can make fun fruit kebabs mm -hmm. where you go to the grocery store and you find all different colored uh, fruits and put mm -hmm. them on a little stick. Mm -hmm. Como un, para hacer un asado, pero de frutas. Es súper importante que siempre comamos un arco iris de frutas y vegetales. Espero que estén disfrutando el kit the kids que los regaló Kings y para que puedan hacer el dip que les ofrecen ahí en el kit para probar diferentes vegetales o frutas. Mm -hmm. And make a big salad with lots of different vegetables. Podemos hacer una ensalada con vegetales y frutas y todo lo rico para que tenga todos los colores del arco iris. Es muy saludable. Mm -hmm. And keep us nice and healthy. Mm -hmm. Right? So thanks again for watching. Gracias por escucharnos. We'll see you soon. Nos vemos Bye. pronto. Adiós. Bryce and we are going to make the bean dip that goes with our kit. So we're gonna follow the recipe and as we follow the recipe, Bryce, you're gonna help me make this, okay? Mm -hmm. All right, so my beans, I already rinsed and drained these beans. Now these beans are gonna go on a food processor, but if you don't have a food processor, Bryce, can you get the potato masher over there? Yeah, show them how you can mash up those beans, right? So if you wanted to, and you don't have a food processor, you could definitely mash the beans and make it a little more chunkier dip, and kids would definitely have fun mashing the beans, right? All right, so that's one way you could do it. Another way is we have a mortar and pestle. A mortar and pestle is another way that those beans could get mushed up as well. But we're gonna actually use our food processor. So I have all my ingredients that came with my kit. Now Bryce, will you dump those beans into here for me? Let's look at our next step, Bryce. What's 
this is it. It says trim about one half inch from the root end of the scallion. Where's the scallion? Yeah, let's do the big one. Let's take the big one, okay? So sometimes when I get my scallions, like there might be like a, a piece I don't really need. I'm gonna take that off. All right, you're gonna trim, so trim that off, right? We don't want the roots. All right, and now what's it say? It says to roughly chop the white and green parts. So start, can you chop that up with your knife? food processor you can definitely chop that scallion big pieces if you're not using a food processor then the smaller pieces will be better so once you've chopped all those scallions they're gonna go right in there brace so pick them up and put them in chop we'll pick up those few that went do you want some? Yeah, you can eat some. You're, he's an onion fan, he likes to eat them raw. All right, the next step, now, oh, some smashed garlic. Oh, you'd like to do that. A medium clove of garlic smashed with your knife. So here's our garlic. Do you want to smash it with the side of the knife? Huh? So you're gonna take your knife and you're gonna take your hand and you're gonna press down with your palm. See how I'm looking here? I think you try it. There you go. So now take that skin off, right? We don't want to eat that papery skin. Josh, and put that right in there. Is this mashed enough? Yep, that's smashed perfect. Excellent. All right, what's next on our steps? Ooh, lemon juice. So now we need lemon juice. So how are we going to turn this into juice? What are we going to do? Mm -hmm. All right, so let's cut that in half. Cut our lemon in half. Yeah, so that goes down. If you have another type of juicer, you can use any type of juicer you want. If you don't have a juicer, you can basically just take that lemon, squeeze it. You just wanna make sure you kinda of cup it with your hand so that you catch those seeds as you squeeze that lemon. Perfect, all right, where are we on our steps, my friend? What's next here? Oh, some salt and pepper to taste. You wanna put a little bit of salt and pepper in there? Yeah, some nice pepper. And you guys will have packets. We did, I forgot to bring those little packets. Um, but you'll have a little packet of pepper and a little packet of salt, courtesy of Kings. Perfect. Sprinkle a little salt in there. Okay. So now, oh, and it says one more thing, the extra virgin olive oil. So we need to get our extra virgin olive oil. How much, can you look at the ingredients? How much extra virgin olive oil do we need? How much? One third cup, so that's there. I know it's a lot. That's what's gonna help kind of smooth this into a dip. So I always like to hold it, yep. Yeah and pour over, that way in case we spill, it goes into what we're making. All right, you wanna pour that in? Perfect. All right, I think we're ready to mix it. Are we ready to mix it? Mm -hmm. what is this? Oh, the lemon zest, you're right. The lemon zest. We can add a little bit of lemon zest here. Sorry about that. I forgot the lemon zest. So this would be easier to do when the lemon is not um, peeled. So, but yes, so you're gonna grate a little bit of the rinds of the lemon. You don't wanna take the white stuff because that's not gonna taste um, as sweet. That's gonna have a little more bitter flavor to it. Uh, so you just wanna kinda go around. This is something that, I mean, Bryce is a little bit older. Bryce is 10. Um, but this is very sharp, so you just want to make sure that you're being careful. Um, that's probably a good amount, and then you dump it. Yep, and just kind of like bang on it. 
Now, if you really like lemon, like do you like lemon flavor rice? Because I know you like onion. Lemon. So like sometimes I always like a little extra. I'm a good lemon. Well, that's for that's we're gonna put that, dip that in our dip, right? That's for after we make it. We're gonna make our dip first, and then we're gonna put the veggies in it. All right. Oh, don't go away. You ready? You want a little rip? Press it. Mix it up. Press it down. So we pulsed this and, and blended it until we got like a nice, smooth consistency. So now we're going to get our veggies ready to eat with it. So now we're going to cut the cucumber. And this is a cucumber that came right from the urban farm. And we're going to cut it into some slices or however you want it for your dip. All right. So we finished our dip. And now we're gonna make sure that we eat the rainbow. So your kit came with different colorful cherry tomatoes. We have our cucumber, you got colorful carrots to dip into it. If you like other vegetables, like I know we like broccoli, whatever it is, and the more veggies the better, you want to try in your dip. So you guys wanna try it? So this is the bean dip. Go ahead, Audrey. That was good. Eat this. Mm. <laughs> so enjoy. I hope you guys enjoyed making this recipe. And once again, thanks so much to Kings for helping us put together these kits that we can share with the community. Have a great day.